Hello, hello, and welcome, welcome back to Not At All for another Animal Crossing livestream. Uh, hello everyone, it's lovely to see you again. Jane is in the chat moderating this time. Um, Rico Vess says, good morning from North Carolina. Um, oh, yes, everyone's saying hello. Hi, hi, hi. Um, yeah, let me know where you're watching from. Uh, I'm sorry that it's raining on the island. Uh, I'd hoped to stream with better weather. I don't like it being rainy on the streams. Um, but it's not going to be too big a problem, as we will shortly explain. So, today is the first day of Nature Day. IRL Earth Day was yesterday, but Animal Crossing starts its celebrations a little differently, and it starts those celebrations uh, today. Um, which means that all across the world, people's Animal Crossing islands are being visited by Leaf the Sloth. And exciting new updates are coming. However, my island is not being visited by Leaf the Sloth. If I go, uh, head on over to the plaza, I got an Able sister. I got Label hanging out. No sloth at all. Sorry about it, but it's okay because uh, I am going to um, pay a visit to Jane's Island first thing uh, so that we can hang out with Leaf over there. Um, I've installed the update. Um, it's all working fine. It's just, it seems like Leaf, the sloth, just shows up on some people's islands and some people just doesn't, doesn't bother. Um, Leaf can't be everywhere at once, folks. That's just sloth maths. Sloth maths, if you like. A red Rosa says, Luke, have you caught the peacock butterfly yet? Yes, I have. Uh, in the end, I found it not anywhere near any of my hybrid flowers, so what's with that? Welcome along, new member uh, Emerson. And Ty C says, hello, Luke and Jane from Portland, Oregon. Hello, Portland, Oregon. Um, Arlen Gallant says, hi, Jane and Luke from South Africa. Hello. Um, okay, so let's start by checking the mail, as, uh, which is always a good place to begin. Oh, my. Okay, all right. I have like a million posts. Oh, my God. Okay, right, okay, th so the first hour of this stream is going to be just me opening my mail. Um, okay, let's see what we got. We got CJ from the fishing... You should... Uh, what up, Luke? You should have seen my partner work on this. Sometimes he just flows. It's fantastic. Oh, okay, right. I got CJ to, to make me a horse mackerel statue. Um, just because I wanted to see what the little statues looked like. And um, horse mackerels is what I had. Happy Home Academy says... Please accept this gift. There's nothing like a refreshing bathroom where you can de-stress and refresh. Uh, cool. Oh, this is because I got the third room in my house. Oh, a letter, f some, a gift from Daisy? Daisy the dog? Proud of you, Luke. So glad to see you continue to prosper and grow out your home. Now you have space to fill with lots of good times and happy memories. Here's a gift to show how glad I am for you. Congratulations, friend. Enjoy from Daisy. Wow, thanks, Daisy. That's, um, that's lovely. And what's this from Nintendo? Dear Luke, thank you for downloading the update. We'd like to give you a present to show our appreciation. Please remember to keep an eye out for future updates as well from Nintendo. Nintendo, you shouldn't send me these letters because it breaks immersion. Honestly, I'm so upset that you've done this. Uh, the bank, oh, the bank of Nook has been in touch. Dear Luke, we are seizing your home. Um... No, we are writing to inform you that we have reduced the interest rate offered to all savings accounts. Well, that's bad news. As an apology for any inconvenience, please enjoy the attached gift. We appreciate your business. Oh, I see. Take all, all of my savings and then just tank the interest rates. I see, I see how this is. Uh, and then Tom Nook. Some special Nook Miles activities as part of Nature Day. Come see me for, no for more details or to ask for an explanation as to what happened about interest rates. Uh, something from Andy? Just your type. Just your type. Okay, interesting. And what's this from uh, Dan? Friend of the channel, Dan. Um, dear Luke, I thought you'd find this humorous. Okay, well, I assume that's a... I assume that's a human bone. From Ellen. Thank... Oh, okay, so last stream I sent um, Ellen a haunted doll, you may remember. Um, so... Ellen has sent me something back. Thought your villagers would appreciate this. Okay, we'll check out what that is in a moment. Elizabeth Fleming says, I bought a Switch and Animal Crossing and I blame you and these streams. I could afford it after cancelling my vacation. I'm sorry about your vacation, Elizabeth. There's a lot of that going around. Cheers from Host Isle. Got attacked on day one by both spiders and wasps, so I named it well. And Isabel Liberty says, I've chopped all trees on two mystery islands today for crafting, so take that nature day. But I planted a bunch of trees and shrubs, so hopefully balanced karma? That sounds like, that sounds renewable. Love the streams. Uh, keep being you. Thank you, Isabella. How kind. 
And Frodo Baggins says, finally got Animal Crossing yesterday. Greetings from King Fura Bay. A reference to one of my favourite Green Day songs. Ah, that's pretty good. Uh, and Colton Campbell says, hi from uh, VA. Wait, which state is VA? I should know this. Sorry. Uh, do you ever play retro games on Steam? I do sometimes, for work. Um, I love playing old games. Uh, and Steam is good for that. Uh, Norson says, wanted to share. I have Gladys on my island and she wanted to leave. I've asked her not to, and a half hour later she teaches me the reaction sadness. Oh boy. We're going to check in with all the residents today. We're going to see how Diana's doing. Sweet Monkey Tuesday says, can't believe you're streaming in competition with Ellen. I know, I know, it's an, an, an annoying schedule clash, but yeah, check out um, uh, right now on Dicebreaker, Ellen is streaming with those folks. Uh, just have them oh, just have them open in two tabs. Just get us in, in stereo, you know, one in one ear, one in the other. That's what to do. Uh, right, so Ellen sent us a something creepy and then Ellen sent something else and something for you oh my god so many presents uh, something else from Dan Em got these and I thought you might like them the games afoot etc oh my okay right I have been sent so many presents should we have a look at them wow what an inventory just full of gifts I can't remember which one is which ah my horse mackerel model is here let's have a look at it okay it's sarcastically tiny uh, is that good? Was that a good? Is that better than the money from three horse mackerels? I don't know. Well, look, we've got it now, so there's no going back. Um, what else have we got? Um, a pre this present. A bathroom towel rack. Oh, that'll be from the Happy Home Academy. I'm willing to bet. Well, we'll put we'll put that up. And what? And this is a toy. Oh, a toilet. Good. I already have a toilet, but I guess it's good to also just have one outdoors in the, to use in the rain. Oh, there it goes, flushing. Could we tell what hemisphere we're in? But do you think that do you think it does the animation flush a different way if you're in the other hemisphere, or is that a myth that that happens? I can't remember if that's a myth. Let me know if that's true or not, the chat. I'd be interested to know. Uh, Nick and Jay says this game for the first time has made me want to get a Switch, which is of course next to impossible right now lol i oh, know they're so hard to come by um oh myth okay it's a myth it's a myth shame i don't know why shame makes makes no difference to me uh a world map cool all right that's will be for nature day a bell bag rug okay good we'll pop that down a typewriter that'll be from andy when he said just your type. A detective's coat. This will be from Dan. I can't change my clothes yet. But a detective's coat sounds amazing. A detective hat. A pompadour wig. A paper bag. That'll be from Ellen when she said something for you. And then what's this? A skeleton hood. Okay, hang on. Some of the a lot of these are clothes, so. I need to change, I need to revert my outfit uh, to my mariachi clothes with an adorable bow that I've acquired. Uh, right, skeleton hood. Oh, what? Are you serious? That's amazing. Oh my god, it's got cracks in the back. That is so good. That is so good. Uh, and, what, and what else have we got? Paper bag. Okay, well that's just insulting. Pompadour wig. <gasps> oh my gosh, that goes so great with what I'm wearing right now. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, we've got sky treasure. Pompadour wig, I love it. I love it. It's like maximum Elvis. It's the closest thing I've seen in the game to my actual hair as well, so I appreciate it. Another present, this one from the sky. The detective hat, I've got to see it. Oh, that's great. And the detective's coat. I mean, this is not a great coat to be wearing with no trousers, uh, is my first thought, but I do absolutely love it. That is so great. Um, and, then what's the, and then what's in this gift from the sky? 10,000 bells. Thanks, the sky. Um, cool. Let's go pop some of that stuff in the house. Karima says, missing out on new patch content because it's my birthday and I've got the birthday events today. Glad I've got your streams to see the new stuff. 
And Sabrina uh, Makahia says, Hi Luke, after watching your streams, I finally decided to get my own Switch and New Horizons. So now I'm the proud resident representative of Flame Ingos. Oh, Flame Ingos. Santa Bar White says, a towel rack and a toilet. It sounds like someone is remodeling their bathroom. Yeah, well, I've got this empty, I've got this empty room to decorate now. Uh, John Sharplin says, so the Able Sisters have got a royal crown in the shop today and I need it, but it's 1.2 million bells. Do you think Andy would give me some pointers on becoming a billionaire if I asked nicely? Um, hey, Andy didn't get rich by sharing his money-making tips around. Um, you know, he keeps that stuff pretty close to his chest. Oh, wow. Well, that's... Well, that's great. It, wait, is this the rug as a sort of sorry for about, about the interest rates? Because that's just pre that's pretty sarcastic, if so. Not happy about that. Um, but let's have a look at this other stuff. We've got the typewriter. Oh, well, that's lovely. I'm just going to drop all this stuff on the floor for now. We'll, de we'll redecorate. <gasps> oh my gosh, charming. I'll redecorate properly off stream. Uh, the horse mackerel model... I guess we'll put that. I guess that's good. Um, I've got a diner counter table. Let's have a look at that. I know there's no room, but let me place it anyway. Go on. Okay. That's actually pretty cool, you know. I like that. I might make, might try and make this little kitchenette, bathroom, towel rack. Put that, pop that on the wall. Is this going to be my bathroom then, do you think? Should I make this room a bathroom? Oh, that's lovely. It's got a little golden... And my toilet. Oh, yeah. This is... Okay, the room's really coming together now. Let's see my world map. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Oh, and I picked up this pedal board. This should go in the music room, really. We'll go put that down. A ghostly typewriter. Uh, all right, let's pop this stuff down and then let's go visit Jane because I want to meet Leaf the Sloth for um, Nature Day. Uh, my KK record collection is coming along nicely, as you can see. Um, I want it to be the kind of room that if KK walked in here, he would he would just be flooded with uh, um, fear adrenaline. And I, I think that's what I've achieved. Gentleman Drill says detective outfit in Animal Crossing. Well, now that makes the character design for Detective Luke easier for me. Good, I haven't started with the outfit design yet. How exciting. Okay, let's pop that pedal board down. Good. Can I interact with this at all? Can I, can I like, for example, crank up the overdrive, put on some wah and some chorus, and just absolutely, you know, shred out? Can that be achieved? Let's assume yes. Um, right. Let's pop these things in storage for now, just because I want to free up a little bit of space. Now, I'm pretty sure... Pompadour wig is so good. Uh, okay, let's put everything in storage. Um, let's put all my clothes away, just so that I've got maximum, like, um, inventory space. I'm pretty sure that Leaf is willing to buy... Um, uh, like, oh, concierge uniform. <gasps> oh my gosh, I, I, I didn't, I don't know where I picked that up. I think an, I think a, a resident gave it to me. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Okay, well that's what we're wearing. That's what we're wearing right now. That's lovely. Um, my gosh, I've got so many great outfits right now. Um, cool. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that Leaf the Sloth will buy weeds from you um so i'm gonna just raid my home storage um before i head out uh if brennan says anyone else get uh dw empty child vibes from that typewriter oh this i don't i'm not sure I've, i'm not sure i've uh, shown this room on a stream before um it's just it's a new room i'm not happy with the wall or the floor but it's quite nice. I've moved the bed in here and the toilet for maximum convenience. Um, my favourite thing, though, in this room is this beautiful vanity. This antique vanity. That is a real treasure. I've got a secondary model ship in here. It's, it's, it's looking good. Moody Moogle says, Max Dapper in that uniform. Okay, right. We need, we need shoes. We need a shoes and socks. 
let's just stick on the everyday tights. Um, what goes with these? Not the converse. Come on, we're, in a, we're trying to be smart. Oh, does that go? Not quite. Not quite. Man, I don't have enough um, smart shoes. They sort of go. Pink cowboy boots go with everything. Famously. Um, all right, let's let's just go with the pink. Let's just go with the pink boots. Here. Let's not let's not overthink it. Cool. Okay, right. Now we are uh, decked out to go pay Jane a visit. So let's um, just grab those weeds I mentioned. Wow. We do have a lot of clumps of weeds. I'll hold some back for crafting recipes and such. Uh, I don't know what Leaf is going to want with them. But, um... But we'll find out. Okay, so let's go visit Jane's Island. Uh, Matthew Walker notes the blue DMs. Yeah, they're cool. Um, need black wingtip. Uh, says Kyla programs. Yeah, the black wingtip. So would be good. Um, but I don't want to do anything. I don't want to get. I, don't, I want, if possible, I want to not get sidetracked between here and the airport. I nearly got sidetracked by Mac. That I nearly got sidetracked by the money spot. But we're not. We, 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 oh, we're focused. We're focused. We're focused. We're focused. Um, okay. Orville, brace yourself. What do you think, Orville? I want to fly. Why do I normally come to the airport? I want to visit someone. Orville. It's got to be online play, Orville, to be honest. I love that new skull hat I got. Amalia Rubin says, I like how you have all your fishing poles next to the toilets in case you find a fish in there. Might be a shark. Well, I should hope not. I feel like there's definitely a joke to be made about what kind of fish you would find in a toilet. I'm going to let the chat make that joke if there if there is one to be made. Maybe I could... There's a pun there somewhere. I'll be back, yeah! Island of the Island of Jane. Here we go. Centric Lefty says, Luke, can I have Breath of the Wild advice? I've done all four Divine Beasts, but I'm not ready to fight Ganon. What should I do next? I already have the Master Sword and the Helian Shield. Love the uh, Animal Crossing streams. Have you done the Tarrytown town building side quest? Uh, if not, that is a really, really lovely, lovely um, set of quests. I would really recommend doing that. It's so much fun. Um, you build up this oh, lovely town. It's lovely. Um, stop saying lovely, Luke. Come on, pull yourself together think of some other words. Oh no! Uh-oh, my communications environment could be unstable. This is the one thing we didn't want to happen. Um, doodly -doo, doodly -doo, doodly -doo, doodly -doo. Okay, I'm just going to try that again. Um, okay. Right. Back in. Back in. <laughs> the chat's still talking about fish you would find in a toilet. Patrick Long suggests a stoolgen. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, I want to fly, Orville. Right, we we'll try this again. Is red on your island, Luke? Asked Norsent. No, um... Uh, no, no red on the island. Not today. Red is the cool, uh, like, art supplier. Now who's going to show up? But, I, I mean, I had a little look, but I didn't... I saw no sign. I suspect I'm going to have to wait a day or two. Meatbutt says, I wish I was home right now. I have a western tombstone that you could have given Andy. Oh, and Jane's in the chat saying... Uh, Jane here. Try again, Luke. There aren't any islands we can take you to right now. Search again, Orville. Come on. Jane's telling me that it's that it that we that we should be all good. Orville. Orville, dude. 
Um, cool. All right. All right. Do it again. Come on, Orville. This time. Third time's a charm. Wow. What's going on? What's going on? Jane, um, Jane, you may need to reopen the gates if you happen to be watching. Um, do 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 do. Ah, behind the scenes, uh, Jane is letting me know that the, the, Ninten the Nintendo Online stuff is being a bit weird and very slow. Which might be because there's a huge influx of people um, playing uh, playing the game because of the update. Um, but that's okay, we'll figure something out. So, um, uh, let me try once more. And it takes so long to get through all these uh, text screens that probably everything will be updated and fixed by the time we're through. Emily Hill says, Hello, Luke from Come Over Bay. Uh, can I get a shout out for my friend Jason? He's my favourite because he turned me on to you and Oxtra. Love these streams and playing along with you. Venga Bus is my aisle tune. Uh, of course, a shout out to Jason. Uh, Jason and to Emily Hill. Um, Jason, well done for getting Emily Hill on to uh, Oxtra. Um, good work. Okay, here we go. Fingers crossed. How do I want to travel? I want to search for a friend, Orville, the same way I always travel. Okay, here we go. Fingers crossed, folks. Okay, cool. All right, that's promising. That's where I want to go. Yeah, fly me there, Orville. Fly me to the moon. But not literally, Orville. I'm worried you're going to take everything I say literally and fly me to the moon. And I'll die. Okay. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Mad Hattrick. Oh, it's taking a little while. Mad Hattrick says, Luke, can I get a shout out? Uh, for Teela's on Shimmer Island. She introduced this series to me and I'm absolutely loving it. Perfect game for quarantine. Yeah! Teela's on Shimmer Island. Um, consider yourself shouted out. Um, thank you for introducing Matt Hattrick. Brock Sisson says, give it a second well, thought of a better name, soon I'll be ready for visitors to seize the day. Ah, oh, seize the day is a good island name. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now, this is where things fell apart last time. So, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed we arrive on Jane's Island. I was speaking to a friend of the channel's Andy Hoyle, who did our amazing Oxventure photography uh, for literally everyone else in the world the other day. And his uh, also pictures leave, so head there if this does fail. But looks like looks like Jane's Island is, is loading in. Clear skies and the temperature is comfortable. <gasps> and there's leaf! There's leaf! There's leaf! Oh my god, the little hat! Oh, the little cafe. Jane, your island is so adorable. Jane's got a campground, everyone. We've got to go check out uh, Jane's campground uh, while we're here. Um, okay, all right. Fingers crossed that we get through this next load. Yeah, there we go. <gasps> of course Jane is dressed as an astronaut. Of course. How was your flight? Um, bumpy. But I'm here now. Uh, and I will express the fact that I'm here now with Glee. All right, before we do anything else, let's talk to Leaf. Brand new Leaf the Sloth. You've come for the sloth, says Jane. <laughs> hey, Luke, isn't this the most perfect day to shop for... Hang on, should we do a leaf voice? Just trying to... I'm just looking at leaf, trying to gauge what kind of voice this sloth has. Oh, hey, Luke, isn't this the most perfect day to shop for flowers? <laughs> I don't know where that's coming from. And shrubs, too! You're so lucky because today I'm selling the beloved azalea. <laughs> and it's currently in season! So you can enjoy those magical blossoms as soon as you plant this little friend. I'd be happy to know what I can do for you today. Well, Leaf. Let's talk weeds. Uh, 
I'm here to shop. I'm here to shop, Leaf. Oh, yes, I'd love to introduce you to all the little seeds and saplings I've got with me today. <laughs> Liam Duke says, Leaf has strong Olaf from Frozen vibes. Is that what's happening? Is it possibly that's what's happening to me? Um, yeah, what do we got, Leaf? <gasps> Whoa, shrubs, folks. Leaf is not joking around. The pink azalea stuff, perfectly wonderful selection, and they're available in bulk. How many you would you like? I'll take five. I'm going to take five of all of these. I need these shrubs. Welcome along, new member, the Scoot. Lost Pencap says nail to the leaf voice. Uh, that is not a view that is universally being shared in the chat, but that's the comment, that's the chat comment that I'm going to choose to focus on. Um, Alright, yeah, let's buy some of these. Oh, wow, the astronaut helmet that Jane's got is so good. I like the kind of orange tint it has. Also, I think that's the, that's the first time I've seen the sun in the game. I think because it kind of sets low, at least that's the first time I've seen the sun facing backwards. Do you know what I mean? Oh, red hibiscus. Oh my gosh, we're going to get all the shrubs. Oh, and I know exactly where to put them on the island. Exactly where they should go. Um, yellow, yeah. Give me the yellow hibiscus. How many would you like? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm going to buy some of these flowers as well, because I do not have uh, roses. Um, I've got mums. You're a yellow rose bag. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. I know this is not an exciting new feature. Um, but I don't have any roses on not at all, and that is a gosh darn tragedy. So let's get some white, white rose bags as well. Uh, Jane says, no, I don't want no shrubs. <laughs> Shrub is a guy that... <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. Can't get no love from me. <laughs> okay, Jane, so I have loaded up on shrubs. Oh wait, first, we, let, first I want to talk to Leaf about weeds. You gotta do what makes you happy. I'll be here if you change your mind. <laughs> um, let's talk weeds, Leaf. Oh, Luke, are you interested in selling weeds? Yeah, I know how it feels to start pulling weeds and suddenly realize, wow, this could take a while. I imagine it takes you a little while, Leaf, because you're a sloth and you do everything slowly. Um. Exactly, Leaf. You're talking my language. I had a feeling, but gardening should make you happy, Lou. Which is why I have decided to buy weeds from you at a very special high price point. If you act now, I'll double what the nooklings are offering. That's 20 bells per clump of weeds. Wow. It's a win-win. You get paid for all that hard work you put into pulling weeds. And I get to enjoy your pristine, weed-free island landscape. So, can I buy your weeds? <laughs> sure can, Lee. Uh, okay, well, you know what? Actually, Leaf, that is not that much money. Um, I'll do better to hold on to these weeds and um, craft, craft them into stuff. I've got... Um, Jane says, "What's your game, sloth?" Uh, Jane, can you show me this campground that um that you that, that that I've heard so much about? Um, oh, hang on, I've lost I've lost Jane. Oh, there we go. Um, Mr. X No Name 04 says, "Hey, Luke, just stopping in to say hello while at work. Hope hope you're um." You're not going to get in trouble watching the stream at work. I hope it's open quietly in another tab. Oh, wow. Look at this rock table. Oh, wow. I haven't seen one of these wooden steps inclines yet. Oh, my gosh. A little... Oh, no. I just... Oops. I just scared away a, a mantis. I hope they already had one. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Oh, these wooden step inclines are... Oh, hold the door. This place is gorgeous. Oh, wait, and here's a mantis. Jane, do you need a mantis? If you need a mantis, here is one. Oh, no, it's gone. It's flown away. This is beautiful. Oh, what's Jane dropped there? <gasps> a pan flute? What? A pan flute is a thing in the game. Are you serious? <laughs> well, that is lo lovely. Right, um, Jane, what I want to know is, if we both play the ocarina, does it stay in key or do we clash? Let's see if we can fall into rhythm. <laughs> this is lovely. Um. Oh. Ooh. Okay, that's the way to do it. One of us establishes a pedal tone. That's great. That's great. Hang on. Let me um, let me back Jane up on the ocarina. I'd love to say that this isn't going to be the whole stream, but it would be a lie. Well, that's great. And it does, I, I think it always sounds nice. I, I, had, I wonder if, hang on, I've got my dog ukulele here somewhere. I was trying to, I was trying to figure out what key we're, what key we're playing in. That it, that it sounds so nice or, or always. Um, wow, this is love. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Jane, you have absolutely nailed it. This, is, this place is so lovely. <gasps> okay, before I head over this rise, who remembers on a previous stream when Jane was trying to build a creepy summoning circle out of stones? Well, it looks like Jane has um, finished her work, shall we say. Yeah. It, okay, wow, okay, Jane has transformed into her druid form. Hang on, hang on, I think I, I, think I have something appropriate for this. Oh yeah, here we go. And now what now what happens, Jane? Do we sort of like run around? Do we chant? Because you because of the like slightly narrow gap between these things, it does look kind of like a ritualistic dance, the way you kind of move through. Like it looks like I'm sort of capering in a in a kind of pagan way. Right, so if I run around this 666 times, that should that should do it, right? This is, this is amazing. Uh, welcome new member, Emmy Jade. The gentleman Drill says, what a lovely live concert, and I thought the music stream is later today. <laughs> it's great, right? This is, um, well, this is real special, Jane, what you've done here. And I'm amazed that what you wanted to show me was the campsite and not this. And thank you for giving me a pan flute. You've given me the greatest gift, friendship and a pan flute. The island will be spared, says Jane. Well, that's good news. That's just for one more day. Okay, so we have to do this every single day. 
or um, or presumably the, the ocean claims the island. That's cool. Uh, Whitney S says, Jane inspired me to make my own sacrificial altar. What that comment is missing, Whitney S, is in Animal Crossing New Horizons. But can I assume that that is what you mean? I'm going to assume that's what you mean. Um, Jane, there's a fossil up here. I'm amazed that you haven't claimed this fossil. You've got you to bag this fossil. There we go. Nice. I love Jane's druidic robes so much. How about I'm a little Dracula? How about that? <laughs> um, welcome new member Ash Mac and Cheese. Oh, Jane and I are little vampire twinsies. Oh, gosh. Amazing. Well, this is astounding. Oh, look, here's, here's like a, an evil rock over here as well. Um, well, this is just lovely. I'm so impressed, Jane, with what you've done up here on the top of your island. This is so nice. Um, and so chilled out. A beautiful, beautiful flower arrangements. I didn't spot that. What kind of animal is that in the in the background there? I'm gonna scare off that bug. Oh, there it goes. Can I get the camera behind this tree to to check out this unusual object? I think it's a raccoon, says Jane. Maybe it's a. Could it be like a? Sinuki? Isn't that what Tom Nook is? Hang on. It makes a noise. It makes a noise when I interact with it. It makes the same noise that, like, I'm showing my ignorance of what this sound is now. But it's the, um, uh, the top of the Steel Samurai, um, ringtone. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Ah, oh, this rock pool is so beautifully animated. Look at the way the ripples wash outwards. That's gorgeous. He watches you bathe, says Jane. Okay, well that is um, an unpleasant twist on what was otherwise a thoroughly charming campsite. Um, oh look, J uh, Jane's um, scrapyard is also coming along nicely. I see. Look at that. That can will be good for attracting flies. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to attract a fly at the moment in Animal Crossing. It's weirdly difficult. Um, well, Jane, thank you so much um, for letting me know flies. Thank you so much for letting me hang out on um, on your island uh, and for meeting Leaf. Um, I think we'd better head back to Not at all uh, to to check in with Bladders. Um, I haven't done anything on the island today. Um, so we've got uh, some stuff to do, and we've got the shrubs to plant now. We've got to plant these shrubs. Uh, Jane says, "You're welks. You're welks." <laughs> okay, right. Um, let's just um, wave goodbye, and then let's get out of here back to the island. Patrick Long says, I had luck getting flies with old tires. Uh, yeah, I've got a little pile of old tires and boots and stuff. Um, clear skies to you. Thanks, Orville. To you as well. Welcome along, new member Sheikah. Hi. Jesso says, do you not have leaf, Luke? No. Leaf won't, um... Uh, Leaf hasn't showed up on my island, and I'm trying not to take it personally, and failing. Uh, oh no, my island's all rainy. And we've got an empty house now that we just flew over because Velma's moved out. It's a low ebb, folks. It's a low ebb on Not At All, so we've got to, we've got to go around the island, we've got to make it nice, and we've got to, we've got to, we've got to get back on top, you know? We've got to find our spark, we've got to find, re find the joy. Find the joy.
Uh, Duck D says hello from Stinkport. I know it's not a pun, but you know, enjoying my first live stream on my day off of, from delivering pizza. Ah, oh, Duck D, thanks for tuning in, and thanks for delivering pizza as well. Um, I cannot tell you how much I have been relying on those kinds of services in these strange times, and I know it is not an easy time to be a delivery person. So thank you sincerely. Um, right, let's get some money out of the earth. Put some money back. It's time we gave something back. Specifically. Burying this money. Right. So. Um. Oh, I've got mail again. From Andy. Andy sent me something. A hat. Okay. Okay. I tell you, you've got to live stream this game, folks. You get all the nicest presents. Um, su a sushi chef hat. Oh, I can't jump. I want to transform. Okay, fine. Uh, Emmy Jade says, Leaf has snubbed me too. I'm heartbroken. Well, you know what, Emmy Jade? It's Leaf's loss. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is, to go with, this is to go with my bellhop uniform. And it's perfect. I love it. Thank you, Andy. Well, that's just tremendous. Um, right, okay. Shall we see what's what on the other? Let's go plant these shrubs. Um, and shake this money tree. And also catch this tiny fish. Because there's one kind of goldfish that I don't have yet. And that's a little fish in a pond. It could be a goldfish. Stop moving around, you little fish. Come on. There we go. What do we got? Oh, it's a tadpole. I got a tadpole. Cole, where do you think you're going? I want to chat, Cole. I'm going to go real hard today. Going to play hard, snack hard, yell cool hard. Oh, Cole, you're great. And Mira, you're great too. Lay it on me, Mira. Staying over yet, Cottontail, no matter what the sun says. Right, that's such a good attitude. Right. Cha-ching. Cash in, big time. Um, I'm trying to chop down money trees as they appear. Because, oh no, <laughs> oh, that's annoying. Okay, well, I have a workaround. Because otherwise, I just end up with like too many trees, and they're all in like odd places. Thanks for chipping in, KTO84. <laughs> um, cool. What does the able sister wish of me? I see you've changed clothes. Can I take a look at the outfit you came up with? Oh no, not yet. Label wanted me to um, dress up goth style goth outfit, dark and moody. Okay, so we'll, 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 we'll do that before the end of the stream. Um, but not straight away. Um, right, I haven't got my fossils yet today, so be on the lookout for little telltale marks in the ground where we might find a fossil. I see none yet, Ooh, but I do see some weeds. No, 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 no. That's a, that's a no for me. Ah, there we go. And who's up here? It's Daisy who sent me that lovely letter. Hey, Daisy. Hey, Daisy. Hey, Daisy. Hey. Do you think we'll see a rainbow after all this rain? Bow wow. Nature Day reminds us that it's our most precious resource. Amen to that, Daisy. You're so right. Let's go check out this... Ooh. Fossil found. Mm, nothing going on on the private beach. That's okay. Um, pop on over to the beachside cafe. Just check in there. 
what's going on. Not much. Not much. That magazine is going to get all wet and soggy. Okay, let's go plant some shrubs. No, I don't want no shrubs. Easy Mode says, loving all the series across both channels. Everyone stay safe. Thank you very much. Now, this is new since last stream. I've tried to make just like a little flower field. Um, I was thinking like ultimately I might pave the, like, the gaps in here, like try and make it into a little garden. Um, but we've got to plant some shrubs. Now, do shrubs work like... Where should I put my shrubs? Maybe I should like pop my shrubs in like rows along here. Like, nice sort of... Or maybe I could use the shrubs as a kind of... Um, Pathway. Oh, that's a nice idea. Let's try that. Um, I don't really have enough space. I'll have to move some stuff around. But we could, we could, we could, um, we could start off. We could start off like that here. So if I start, if I pop a shrub down here. Now here's what I want to know. Do I need to be? Um, do I need to be craftily? Oh, wait, hang on, that's in the wrong place. Do I need to be craftily crossbreeding shrubs like I do with flowers? I wonder. Um, so let's start here. Yeah, let's build a little line of shrubs. Possibly I need to... If there are anything like flowers, I might need to like be leaving spaces in between them. Uh, but then maybe shrubs work like fences. Let's just try planting one and then we'll see. Pink azalea starts. Oh, well, for now it doesn't look like much at all. Um, tell you what, let's go, let's go back and forth with the... Uh, Azaleas. Pink. And then white. What can you remember? Floristic. Pink. Oh, Jane says, Luke, you don't have to dig holes for shrubs. But does it make does it make mean that I can like exactly place where they're supposed to go? Is that what um, should make a shrub maze, says, was that a pun? That's a nice idea. Maybe that's what, maybe that's what this space could be. I mean, you could just go like that and see the solution, one would think. Okay, well, I'll get the, I'll get these shrubs, I'll get some of these shrubs are growing, and then I can always move them around. KTO84 says, in honour of Andy and his amazing haunted mansion inspired home, I've changed my island tune to grim grinning ghosts. Love the streams. Uh, and Nathaniel Zuniga says, did you make sure it fully downloaded the update? I didn't have Leaf on my island until I made sure it downloaded it. Yes, I am up to date. I am up to date because I've talked to Blathers and he's he's talking about art installations and stuff like that. So we are up to date. I've seen some other people saying that Leaf just isn't there on day one. Who knows? Who knows? I'm sure Leaf will uh, make their presence known. Um, right. Shall we see if we can find any goth clothes in the shop today, because I do have that task to sort of, um, um, oh. right, I've just got to do my daily check-in with, uh, Sable. Hello, Luke. You seem pretty... There are a few dot dot dots after that pretty chipper. You're always making the effort to stop by, and I can't so much as offer you a cup of tea. I'm sorry. Sable, it's okay. It's a shop. The... you The... It's fine. If we had just one more pair of claws around here to help out, I might be able to chat more. Oh, not this again. Come on, Sable. you got to stop torturing yourself like this. Our sister label went out into the world to pursue her dreams of being a big-time designer, and we promised her we'd work like hedgehogs to take care of the shop while she's gone. Don't you remember, sis? How could I forget when I've got you? But you're right, Mabes. I'll get my head out of the clouds. That said, Luke, I can't offer sparkling conversation. But I hope you'll keep stopping by anyway. Oh my gosh, every day I've dropped by, I'm just getting like... Ah, Jane says, our man Sable won't talk to me. You've got to talk to Sable every single day. And eventually she sort of thaws a little bit. Yeah, I need the fitting room. One day she'll be my friend, says Jane. Uh, right. Oh my gosh. Fancy doublets. Hello. What's this? Music Fest shirt? Uh, no. I already designed a Music Fest shirt, and it looks a lot better than this Animal Crossing. Who do you think you're trying to kid? 
We got farmer overalls. Oh, we got the spacesuit. That's good. Oh my gosh, a little dog nose. Oh my gosh, that's so great. It's like KK Slider cosplay. I love it. Well, I gotta buy that. I gotta buy that and some little no show socks. Some slip on loafers. Is there like some kind of hat I could also be wearing? <laughs> Nicholas Cross says, uh, Leica. I am, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, yep, yeah, that's what this look is. It's Leica the space dog. The dog that went to space. Oh, not sure about the goatee, but I am sure about the dog nose. Uh, yeah, well, that is obviously a great investment. Um, pair it with the bobby socks. This isn't going to win us our, um, Yes, obviously I want to wear what I've picked out. Look at me. I look amazing. <laughs> look, <laughs> Mabel's like, uh, looking sharp. Not sure what, a, not sure what to say. <laughs> I'm the space dog with a nose for news. Where's the scoop? <laughs> right, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Um, right, let's go back to the house. i got to pick out my most gothy clothing. Count Kane says, no, look at the back of the Music Fest shirt. The back of the Music Fest shirt? I didn't, I didn't know I had an interesting back. Okay, we got to look at that. We got, I'm going back to look at it because I got to see, I got to see what it is. I'm not changing my outfit from Leica, at least not yet. Although we are about to change outfits into something goth. Um, but I am interested to see what's on the back. Oh, that's so cute. It has like a little live thing. But it's still not as good as the KK Fest 2020 um, design. Right. Right. Let's head home. Um, see what we can find that is to put on that is gothic and scary. I'm totally going to save this as a wand outfit though. And I'm totally going to fish up whatever that is in the pond. Come on Laika, you went to space. But now for the real mission. Catching this fish. Oh, a koi, koi carp, lovely. You know what, I bet the I bet the koi carp would make a nice sculpture, so I'm not going to sell this, I'm going to keep, keep it by. Okay, cool. Uh, right, so let's head to the old wardrobe. One thing I find frustrating in this is that if you've got clothes assigned to a wand outfit, I don't think you can then... Um, grab them from the wardrobe, which seems odd. So, because I want this, like, cowbone head for the goth outfit, right? So if I put all this in storage, I'm going to, I'm going to register, I'm going to register this. Like of the space dog. I think I've spelled that correctly. Okay, all right, here we go. Hating everyone says, "Hey, Luke, when did you get the string fish?" Well, it's an interesting story. There I was. It was about ten past four in the afternoon, but I didn't realise that I'd let the time get that late. So when I saw a big fish shadow up in the topmost area of my island, I thought, well, it's a big fish, but is it the string fish? It can't be. It can't be, not at this time. So it was with uh, no small degree of complacence that I flung my rod towards the water. And it was that level of complacence that only made it more alarming when the stringfish 
was found on my hook. I'll never, I'll never, I'll never, I'll never forget that day. Right, goth clothes. Um, right. Okay. Uh, do 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 do. Right. What am I looking for now? S uh, spooky, spooky clothes. Right. So I need like um. Oh wait, maybe this would be better. Oh yeah, that's better. That's that's better. I mean, that's pretty terrifying. As is that. That's quite sort of pagan. I wish I'd had that when I was like running around on Jane's Island. Um. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's go with that. As for like, do I, I don't think I have any like spooky socks. Is that even a thing? Pop on the fishnets though. They always look good. Um. Right. And then I need I need some fancier shoes. Oh, I do have. Oh wait, here we go. Mm, no, it's not quite right. I have like some wingtips, but they must be assigned to another outfit. Okay, well, let's go with, um... Let's just go with some antique boots. Because then it's not terrible. The pirate... Yeah, the pi pirate boots suggest Cambly Owl. Yeah. Uh, Jane says Rocky Horror Energy. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. Yep. Yeah, Alright. See what you make of this, able sister. Also, I was just talking um, to your sisters and it sounds like they miss you and are having a hard you know like you went off to chase your dreams but it's kind of stifling their dreams it's pretty complicated okay, here we go okay oh better put away the fishing rod that's kind of breaking the aesthetic hey label what please be sure to both wear a top and bottom Label, I thought you were a progressive-minded fashion genius. Why are you stuck in the old ways of dress? Why are you telling me I need to wear trousers? That is, you are, you are an enemy of fashion, Label. I shouldn't have to wear trousers, ever. But especially not in this game. Alright, fine. Fine, we'll jump through your hoops label. We'll play your game. Put some trousers on. If I can find some. I mean, the acid wash jeans kind of fit the bill, but... It's not as good. Just It just objectively does not look as good. I'm sorry, but it's true. I have some other trousers but they're like I guess I could um right, I'm being way too extra with this um but I want to do a good job you know so I'm pretty sure I've got some oh no hang on uh... oh I thought I had some like ah there we go all right so let's put this in storage so that I can get out the good shoes and the good trousers What I was saying about it being quite annoying that the game won't let you. Okay, so there we go. We break out the, the black denim and the wingtips. I still, you can still just about see the fishnets on my ankles, so I'm counting it as a win. Right, a lot of effort has been made now, label. Ali Lee says the animals don't have to wear pants. Why should I? Exactly. Label. It's one rule for Cole and another for me. Here we go. Right. I think that looks pretty ruddy bloody goth. So I see you've changed clothes. Can I take a look at the outfit you came up with? Sure, of course. Oh good. Let's see it then. Ah, hmm, I see. Yes, this is what I mean when I say I'm looking for a goth style. What a superb combination of pieces. You've expressed the theme beautifully. 
I've learned so much. Thank you. I'm going to send a thank you gift to your home. Remember to use Taylor's tickets at the Taylor shop. Okay. And please take this too. I made it with my own two paws. Oh, hold on. It looks like you have too many things to carry already. I'll just send it to your home later. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Thank you for being so very helpful. Well, maybe I want to have things in my pocket. So you will just accept a weed and a bit of wood. Okay, okay, right. Let's, um... Uh, let's take this look to Blathers. Look, Blathers, I'm your newest fossil. Wait, there's Diana. We have to talk to Diana. Oh my gosh, Diana. Big Mary Poppins energy from Diana today. Why, you seem well, don't you? No doy. Let's talk, Diana. I hope you have something exciting planned for today. It can be quite invigorating to change your routine. Do you need me for something, no doy? Let's talk, Diana. Aren't these paving stones absolutely fabulous? Yes, Diana. I put them down myself. The plaza is the public face of the island, after all, so of course we want it to look its best. Diana, you, uh, you are so right. You've nailed it again. Right, how many fossils have I got? Three, which means I'm missing one. Well, let's get these three assessed. Let me see. Epicurean Bard says, here's $10. I just got my tax return and finished my Diplodocus skeleton in the museum. Well, that is worthy of celebrating. Blathers, assess my fossils. ASAP. Blathers, there's no time. More than one, I see. Let's take a closer look. Um, Kate O'Sullivan says, did Diana get her gift? Yes. Diana did get her gift. I gave Diana a dress. Diana put it on immediately. It looked amazing. Uh, although Diana is not wearing it now because it's raining. <sighs> yes, indeed. Quite splendid. Alas, our museum already has fossils such as these. I am indeed tempted to purchase these for my personal collection. But no, I must exercise restraint and return them to you now. Thank you, Blathers. There's nothing else you can help me with, Blathers. You've already been very helpful because now I can sell some of this stuff, which I will go and do now. Hey, goal. Okay. Right. So let's talk about my eye open for the last fossil. Hey, Timmy and or Tommy. I want to sell, Timmy. Let me tell you what great stuff I've got. We've got bits of Triceratops. You can have one shrub. That koi, I'm keeping that back. You can have this cedar tree, though. Uh, you can have this sea bass. You can have these bl these these butterflies. You can have this softwood, if you like. Um, have this hardwood tree. That should free up a little space. <gasps> Ibrahama86 says, raiding from Dicebreaker. Dog of War says, hello from Dicebreaker. Oh my gosh, Ricky McFadden says, coming across with the crowd from Dicebreaker. Dicebreaker send their regards. Hello everyone joining from the Dicebreaker stream. Lovely of you to join. Jane says, how did Ellen do? And I'm curious to know. Um, okay, right. Let's pop home. Get some of these bits and bobs into store. I've got to... And then... Should I plant some more? I'm not sure it's that much fun to watch the planting on the stream. So I might save that for afterwards. Hello again, Diana. You don't even need an umbrella. Maybe I'll put some... Maybe I should put some shrubs, like, around the... Maybe, like, around these paths. Oh, that would be nice. Maybe I'll... Well, look. The most important path in the game mine. So how about I how about I plant some shrubs here? That'd be nice. Let's do that. Mm, yes. There should be so be a shrub lined avenue. What are you? 
I'm not sure I've got one of you. Oh, it's a mole cricket. Okay, right, I did have a mole cricket. I must not have... Been buzzing around there and I didn't hear. Ooh, he's there. No, 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 don't do that, don't do that. Don't break your shadow. Okay. Right. Let's plant us some. What have we got? Hibiscus. Let's, let's plant the hibiscus here. Mmm, lovely. Red and yellow and the red and the yellow and the red. And you guessed it. Yellow. And then brace yourself. I thought what we would do is red. And then just because I've only got a couple left, maybe I'll just to free up the inventory and maybe just go a few more up. lovely now let's catch this fish yup oh oh dear Carp. That's fine. Nothing wrong with having a carp. Okay. Let's pop my weeds back in storage. Although, maybe I'll keep one out because look what I just got a recipe for just before I started this stream. Where is it? Check it out. A hanging terrarium. Isn't that nice? Uh, and that just needs some iron nuggets, and I think I've got a few of them set by. So let's, um... Let's yoink a few of them out of storage. Ooh, only 60. Low resources are lower than I thought. Because uh, hanging baskets sounds lovely, so... Let's, let's craft up a few of them and see how they look. Hanging to Lovely. This is a kind of object that I would like in real life. John Sharpton says, I want a hanging terrarium in real life. Uh, okay, let's um let's see what one looks like by just popping it up on the wall, presumably that's how you do this. Hang on wall. There's no space here to hang this. Yes there is. I'm where I mean how much space do we need? these things work exactly. Oh, lo oh, nice. Oh, that's real good. Okay, let's pop them both up and then we can move them around. Oh, they, look, look, they look quite nice there. They really go with the room. Um, now, how much do they hang down by? I'm just wondering if they might be like... Do you think they'll be noticeable if I put them, like, either side of the door? Like, will they be... Do you think I'll see them, basically, is my question. Because I think they'd be nice there. But only if I, you know, only if they're actually visible as you walk into the room. Oh, mm, no, not really. Okay. Put them here, they're going to clash with my uh, growing KK collection. So let's put them over this wall, where they will also crash with my glowing, clash with my growing KK collection, but not immediately. That's nice. Yep, happy with that, happy with that. Zachary Travis says, Money isn't a proper expression of gratitude, but I've no other way to thank you, ATM. You, Oxtra, and Ox Oxbox have been so helpful and an absolute joy to watch over the years. I don't know when I'll be able to see another live stream because of scheduling, but thank you so much. Well, thank you so much, Zachary Travis, for tuning in. Um, glad that you 
glad that you enjoy the the stuff that we've been uh, putting out. We love making it, so that's yeah, that's awesome to hear. Thank you, thank you. Um, right. Okay, here's what I am thinking now. What time is it? So it's ten past five. We've got another fifty minutes of the stream. There's another fossil lurking out there somewhere. Uh, we could do some planting. I kind of feel like I maybe fancy a game of hide and seek. Um, though. So maybe, here's what I'm thinking. Um... Uh, what I'm thinking is I will go and open my gates and we'll see if there are a few friends who want to come to my island and we'll play hide and seek. It's one of my favourite things to do in the game. Cool. Do, 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 do. Oh, sorry, I've run past the airport. Come on, focus up, Luke. Here we go. Welcome, new member, Arian Dragonborn. Okay. Voltion says, like spike when the friend enters. Yeah, all right, let's do a like spike to see who gets here first. Um, via online play, Orville. Connect me to that old internet. Roger. Who do you want to invite? Let's have all my friends. I don't know who, if anyone, will show up, but they're all welcome. Uh, in the meantime, while we're waiting for some people to show up, uh, Literary Nut says, Luke, go visit the Trash Panda, a.k.a. Tom Nook, and get the Nature Day recipe from him. I did not know there was such a recipe. Let's head there straight away. That was messy. I wonder what, what did you... What, what was the gift, by the way, for doing the fashion thing? Is it in... Do I have... Is it, is it posted to me? No, I guess... I guess I won't get it till tomorrow. Okay. I've lost focus. Oh yeah, um... Oh, looks like someone's on their way here. Let's have that like spike. Hit that like button right now. Who is it? Who is it? It's Crumpet! Crumpet's here. We, Crumpet is the avatar name of a uh, friend of the channel, Andy Hoyle, um, uh, who is an amazing photographer and did the Ox Venture uh, photo shoot. Um, if you look at the album art for literally everyone else in the world, that is his excellent work. He helped um, film the music video as well for that. Um, and I suspect he's very good at hide and seek, so we'll see how we, see how we go. Welcome along, new member Grave. Delta Dawn says, watching this while making my tune, um, the Jurassic Park theme instead of sleeping for work. Thank you for keeping essential workers sane. Uh, oh, you're very welcome. Um, cool, cool, cool. All right, we have one. Oh. And we have another visitor. Who's this? Who do we have? Looks like we're about to get the two we need. For hiding and seeking. It's Andy! It's Andy Farrant! Internet type. I would say that's putting it mildly. Andy is en route. Welcome along, new member Easy Mode. <laughs> 
Everyone's very excited to see Andy. It's Ari says, Andy, double the Andes. That's right, we've got a double Andy hide and seek situation going on. It's Ari says, I'm seeing double four Andes. Nice. Oh! Andy, am I right in thinking that that is some low key Sans from Undertale cosplay that you've got going on there? I think it might be. Andy's in the chat, I think, so um, let me know if I'm on the money there. Uh, cool, all right, well, let's... Um... <laughs> Office Press Play says, looks like the Andy's are taking a trip to you. Um, if they both beat you up, would that be double A battery? Oh, and we've got another visitor. Who's this? Who have we got? It's Alex! It's Alex Lollies from Dicebreaker. What a treat! Amazing. Kevin Smith says, uh, Andy, please find and save Blue Bear. We are all worried. Blue Bear is fine. Don't worry about it. Welcome along, Lollies. Welcome back. Um, last time uh, Alex was on the channel, on, on the stream, was KK Fest, which was a wonderful time. Oh my word. And they come bearing a cat face. <laughs> well, that's great. Well, now I have to put on my um, Astro Dog outfit. Right, okay, so we've got Andy, Andy, and Alex. Okay, right, we have... I'm here for Blue Bear, says Andy. Don't worry about Blue Bear. Blue Bear is fine. Okay, right. So, um, I, uh, I think I'm probably correct in thinking that everyone uh, who is um, about to play hide and seek is also watching the stream. Um, but just in case, let me uh, fire up the Switch app on my phone just so that I can type quickly and efficiently. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay. All right, so we need a volunteer to go first. Um, volunteer to go first. You'll have to time yourself. <laughs> Andy's got an untitled goose um, top. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. Okay, Alex volunteers. Okay, count down from three before you, um, before you come looking. Start in resident services. No, no, not yet, not yet, Lois, we haven't hidden. <laughs> Okay, so, all right. Okay, so, uh, right. It's time. It's time to hide. Uh, okay. Well, so far, Andy is following me. I wonder where he's going. I wonder where he's going. Okay. Um, I want to hide. Okay. I will go. I tell you what. How about I just hide? Like, I don't want. I will. I don't want to. Oh yeah, that's it. oh yeah, that's the other thing. Muted the stream. That's right. Everyone, uh, Andy, Andy, and Alex will need to look away from my screen for the for the duration of the game, or else they will obviously know um, uh, 
where I am. Okay, okay, Alex is on the way. Right, did it too long. Let's just let's just hide here and try and be still. Oh, the hands are a bit of a giveaway there. It looks like a little tree with hands. <laughs> okay, well, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just be. AJD says, can't they just see you on the stream? They can, but we're working on the honor system. And they've turned the stream off. Oh, turn to the side. Turn sideways, that's a great suggestion. Yes. Okay, I'm much better hidden now. That was a great idea. Great idea. Okay. J L, uh, JL says that's Bendix level hiding. Okay. The one with the tree says it's sorry. Oh, I think I hear footsteps. Yeah, I do. I do. Where are you? I hope Alex has remembered to uh, put on the timer so we get the score. Jan Stenel says the shadow gives you away. Go transparent. I can hear footsteps again. Tell you what, for the duration of welcome along new member uh, Chris Dobberfall, for the duration of the game, I'm going to turn just the game audio up a little bit on the stream, just so that you have a better chance of hearing the like footsteps at the same time as me. All right, Andy Hoyle has been caught. That means, all right, that means Thomas a Angel says, why is this so tense? Right, I know. But it is, though, right? Nathan Plummer says, try hiding at the private beach. I think next time, next time, private beach. One, okay, one Andy has been found. Kirsty Cromer says, hello from Aberdeen, Scotland. Can we please get a shout out? Thank you so much for these streams. Me and my little boy Flynn are sitting eating popcorn and watching you. We love your streams. Kirsty and Flynn. Hello. I wish I was eating popcorn. You guys are lucky. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Okay. Ah, both Andes have been found. It's just Luke left. Yes. That means my hiding place is flawless. I didn't think this was a very sophisticated hiding place. But maybe it was better than I thought. I could put a little message, put a little message up. It would give away my location somewhat. A true hide and seek connoisseur would have noticed the giveaway shadow, but like I haven't even seen Alex like come come by anywhere near here. Oh, Alex says no clue. You? So wherever Alex is, that will sort of pop up with a, um, the bubble will be like in the direction that I am. Man, 
hide and seek champion. I'm at that point. Luke became the wind. <laughs> I'm going to give another clue. Uh huh, because I'm behind a cedar tree. Oh! Okay, all right, there we go. I've been found. There we go. Woo! Oh, I thought I'd, I'd, I thought I'd got, I thought I'd gotten away with it there for a second, but no, I was found. Well done, Alex. Excellent hide and seeking, lollies. Whew. Okay, that was, that was, that was close. That was close. Um. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh, right. 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 Okay, um, right, where is everyone else? Where is everyone else? I feel like I'm running really fast. Can I always run this fast? Or is it just because I just stood still for a while? Okay, well, maybe if we, maybe we all meet back at uh, resident services. Plaza, yep, yeah, yeah, back to the plaza, good thinking. <laughs> okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay. Okay, amazing. Right, uh, who's who would like to go next? I think one of the Andes should go next. Um, someone emote to volunteer, or, uh, or or otherwise, let me know. Where am I going to hide next? Ah, okay, all right, Andy Hoyle has volunteered. Uh, okay, so, um, all right, so, yeah, so Andy, oh, I, said, I didn't realize it said honk on the back. Okay, okay, crumpet. Count us down. Here we go. All right, um, to hide. Now, I don't know where the others hid, obviously, so I might be picking somewhere to hide that's been used before. The museum is a pretty good hiding spot because that is very... It's, I think that's... I think it's almost too good, though. Like, it's, I think it's unfair. Like, I don't think I would ever be found. And I think then when they did find me, they'd be like, what the hell? You know where I'm going to go? I'm... Oh! I'm going to hide in Diana's house. No one would think to look for me in Diana's house. Oh, look, that's happy. Get behind me. I'm not hiding here. Oh no, Diana's not home. <laughs> Get your own spot. Okay, 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 okay. Um, we're Blue Bear's house. People wanted to know how Blue Bear was doing, right? Blue Bear, shelter me. Okay, Blue Bear. I need you to like... Coming ready or not. That really confused me there for a moment. I was like, coming Ron? <laughs> Who's Ron? Okay, Blue Bear. We've got some time to hang out. I want to chat. I better hurry. I don't want to miss saying hi to our company. They might have connections in the music industry. Oh, you mean the friends who are over? Well, I wonder what song I should sing, so I guess we'll remember me and tell record companies about me. Well, Blue Bear, very shortly one of them is going to be charging in here looking for me, and I think then is the time to just burst into song and just win them over. <laughs> Blue Bear, don't give up on your dreams. Oh. 
Andy Farron in the chat says still holding on to her crushed dreams. There must be something I can give Blue Bear. Blue Bear's wearing a dress I bought her. Give Blue Bear a fish. Or, um. <gasps> maybe the pan. No, the pan flute is mine. She can't have the pan flute. Hang on, let me see. Maybe there's something I can craft. Maybe there's like a maybe there's like a musical item that would be a clue that I think Blue Bear should not give up on her dreams. It'll have to be craftable with whatever I've got on me though, which is basically nothing. <laughs> How about this tire toy? <laughs> Blue Bear is still fundamentally a bear. I assume that they would I assume she would like a tire toy. No, I don't think I don't think there's anything. And he says, uh, "Craft a wooden sign that says give up on your dreams." All right, I'm going to give Blue Bear the ocarina because that's easy to craft. I can easily make another one of my own. Blue Bear, this is for you. An ocarina, yes, Blue Bear, for you. Don't give up. Don't give up on those dreams. Play that ocarina for your music industry connections. You have, like, such good taste, Superfan. Thanks. Here, I'll trade you. It's a lettuce cap, and I hear you love those. Well, Blue Bear, you heard wrong, but it's very sweet. It's very sweet for you to give me something in return. Let's see what it is. Oh, wait, I'm transformed. Oh, I've gone out of focus, the chat is saying. Sorry. Come on, webcam, keep up. Right. I want to see the. Uh... <laughs> Hope that didn't alarm you, Blue Bear. But I want to see the lettered cap you got. Oh, that's nice. La Isla. That's pretty cool. Good time for that. Okay, now here's the thing, we didn't really discuss whether or not it was allowed to hide, whether whether we were allowed to hide in houses. Last time we played hide and seek we did, but I'm, I'm just worried that what if Andy is like looking outside. Um, I'm gonna give Andy a clue. Pretty big clue I gave there. Okay, Blue Bear, so we've got some time to like catch up and connect. What do you want to do? What do you, what, how's Blue Bear? And what do you get up to generally when you, you know, are at home? Because it seems so far you just sort of like pace back and forth with your eyes real big. Alex says, I think the Andes have gone. Drinking at the tiki bar. Typical. That would be t Oh! Okay. Andy Farrant has been found. The search for Andy Farrant is over. Hanging out at home is Trey Fab. Now, that is a dialogue option for our times. Gives you time to just unwind. You know what's there? The last month or so, I think I've done all the unwinding I'm going to do. This magazine called Cooking and Meditation Weekly said cooking is great for leveling up your mind. Since I can't cook, I just played Super Chef RPG 4 for 24 hours. Now I feel more sleepy than relaxed. Okay, Blue Bell, that's pretty intense. Uh, Camberley Owl says her music reminds me of the band from Twin Peaks. Yes! The Double R Diner, I'm getting the vibe. <laughs> I 
<laughs> put all our initials together and we are La. <laughs> Are people in the chat suggesting we, that we play sardines? How is sardines played? Let me know. Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the chat what I do to play sardines. I think it's one of those games that has like a lot of different meanings, depending on what playground you happen to go to school in. Right, let's just, yeah, let's just have a proper little look around. Alex says sardines is life. Okay. Oh, one person hides, everyone else has to find them. Oh, yeah. Okay. One hides, the rest stack up when they find the person. Oh, yeah, that's right. Then you join the hiding place. Yes, let's do that. Let's definitely do that next. I've just realised that there is another bear on this island, so Andy may have gotten to the, the wrong bear. <laughs> What other clue can I give? Um, feeling pretty blue. But I've not been found. says that game is called Introvert's Nightmare. The thing that stresses me out about hide and seek is that there's always a point where I'm hiding where it's going well and then I'm like oh this is going well and immediately my mind is like something's going well what's the catch and the catch normally is I start to think like oh well maybe they've all stopped playing or something's gone wrong. No, Smith says, wait, how is Luke typing in the chat on his phone? Uh, I'm using the, Ninten the Nintendo Switch app uh, for mobile phones, which lets you um, uh, which lets you do exactly that once it's linked up. Um, Blue, I hope you don't mind just playing with your vacuum cleaner. Not much else to do. Okay, Andy Farrant has found lollies. Ooh, okay. What's this? I wonder what's inside. It, well, you know what, we've been here for long enough. I'm just going to start going through Blue Bear stuff. I'll just take a teeny tiny little peek. There's nothing in here. <laughs> Andy Farrant, don't be gossiping about Andy Hoyle like that. He can see these chat windows. All right, Blue Bear, look, let's jam. No, no, I didn't want to talk. I wanted to play the pampas. Jamming. All right, cool. So wait, hang on. So Lolly still hasn't been found, right? So wait, is Lolly still hidden? I guess so. Maybe I can find one.
letting Alex know how well they're doing. Ah, uh, here's Andy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow that. I'm gonna follow that dialogue box. It's somewhere up here. Wait, I, s I see her. I see her. Now that I can see where Lolly's is, I'm going to take up position here at the furthest distance so that we can see when Andy goes, um, goes finding her. He's looking. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, no, Andy, you ran right past! back. There we go. There we go. Found. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, tremendous. All right. Uh, okay. Everyone back to the plaza and we'll set up a game of sardines. Right. Now, um, Andy Farron should be somewhere around. I saw I saw him chatting with Diana. Probably gossiping, spreading lies about me. All right, the gang is all here. Now, I've just received a message that there may be one more um, visitor coming to the island for the next game of sardines. Uh, so cool your jets here for a moment, players, for our final showdown. Behind your back to Diana. You're such a gossip. What's this? Andy's giving me a gift. Ah, the pan flute recipe. So that I can make infinite pan flutes. Now, who could this be showing up? the small fry influencer arriving from Den Isle. Let's get a like spike for Ellen. <laughs> Marie says, Ellen. Revolver Rock says, Ellen, yes, this game will be legendary. Okay, so, uh, so to play sardines, everyone looks for one person, right? Um, so the question is, who should the one person be? Oh, it's Ellen and she's got an adorable raincoat. Oh, Ellen, you look like you're going to be killed by Pennywise. Adorable. Okay, Ellen, meet us in the plaza. Welcome along, new member, Tori Bear. Thanks for this pamphlet recipe, Andy. Yay, Lynn. <laughs> okay. So, here's what I want to know. Who should be the person who hides? One 
Nice and hides. If you find them, hide with them. We all float down here, says Ellen. Alex says, I have a good one, I think. Okay, Alex. You hide. Oh, wait, never mind. We'll go in resident services. By the way, uh, rule for loading times. No indoors. Allowed it in the last game because I was hidden indoors. But it's just occurred to me that probably for time purposes. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, all right. Uh, so let's all head in here and I hang out with Tom Nook. Nana Ross says, I came here because I didn't know what Animal Crossing was about. I'm still not too sure, lol, but it looks cute. Yeah, I mean, this is basically it. Oh, I should get that recipe. <laughs> Cost of your remodel. Oh, my God. Well, I mean, let's give Alex to the time it takes me. Ooh, off island. Okay, I, I can't do anything. Oh no. And he's talking to Isabel. He's probably talking about it. And, and look. And Isabel's making heart heart faces. And he's such a charmer. Okay, all right, I think we've given Alex enough time to hide. Okay, folks. Here we go, the game is on. Who will be the first? Who will be the first? Who will be the first to find... Um, who will be the first to find Alex? Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, which direction should I sprint off in first? Okay, well, okay, well they've both gone that way, so I'm gonna go this way. Uh, all right, keep your eyes peeled. I'm gonna check behind the museum behind these houses. Alright, I don't think there was anything there. Let's check behind the museum. Ooh, I see Andy. Over there. Nope. Nope, no obstructions. Okay, alright. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I left the game sound up a bit higher, didn't I? Let me turn it down a bit so it's a bit... To not just see that. Okay, right. Oh, that's Diana. I thought it was. I thought it was Alex. Diana, this is the one time I'm not happy to see you. Maybe behind the lighthouse. That would be good. No, you can't fit behind the lighthouse. Maybe the secret beach. Oh, who's up? Who's up there? Who's that looking? That's Andy. That's Andy looking. But without success, I take it. Hoo, 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 hoo. This is tense. This is tense. Oh, there's my last fossil. Okay, remember it's by the same time. There's Ellen. Also looking. That was my, that was my hiding place that proved so good. Not at the private beach. No, no. Maybe in the middle? Maybe in the middle of the island. I don't think you'd think necessarily to look there. Like bang in the middle, you'd sort of, you'd tend towards the edges, wouldn't you? I'm scanning the screen, trying to look behind every tree. 
behind here. No. Oh, Alex. Good hider. I guess a search. I guess I should search down here. Like around here, like down by the beach. Maybe the pier. Is that a big fish? Not big enough. Not big enough to disrupt a game. No. I'll tell you what, though, that is a big fish. I'm having it. Tuna. Okay, cool. All right, cool. A big red tuna. Good. All right, let's keep that quiet um, and pretend that I didn't interrupt the game to catch a tuna. I'm enjoying all of the C+. Plus. Okay, okay. Oh, they know I caught a. Ch they know I caught a tuna. Wait, hang on. Are they all in the same place? Am I the only one? Am I the only one who's not? Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Right, Luke, focus up. Scan. Catch. Scatch your, scan your corners. Okay, all of these chat bubbles come from the same place, which makes me think that I'm the only one. Which makes me think they've all found each other. Where are they? Well, that's where Ellen is. says Alex. <laughs> I see you. I see you all. Oh no, I really was the last one. Oh, it's Bendix's fav famous hiding spot behind the cliff. Oh, there they all are. Look at them. A regular rogues gallery. Is this everyone? I can't tell if this is everyone. I assume it is. Nice of you to join us. One, two, three. Yeah, that's everyone. That's everyone. I lost... Okay, well done. Okay. <laughs> John Sharpton says, how embarrassing on your own island. Yes, 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 yes. Well. Okay. That game was riveting. Ellen, less of the terrible punning, more of the hiding in resident services, please. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, go on, go on. Get with you, get with you. Get over there. <laughs> Seeing Ellen hop over a, a river in a um in a in a frog costume was a true delight. Okay, right. They're all presumably in resident services. Okay, I've said that. I don't actually have a plan of where to hide. I think the pier. I think hide on the pier. It's not very sneaky, but it's. Kinda like I don't know. I just I just don't think I just don't think you would check there under normal circumstances. Hopefully they all muted the stream or oh, hide in the cafe maybe. Oh, how about this? That's pretty good. They'll see it if they run all the way up. Let me take this hat off. It might be a little little more a little harder to spot. How can I make myself? How can I make myself blend it? Oh, there we go. Now, now they'll be like, oh, well, there's a Mohican. Oh yeah. Just there we go. If I and then if I turn this way, I just look like another flower. Cool. All right. Mm, it's not great. It's not great. But you know what? It's not terrible either. Okay, okay. Okay. Alex says that dress is hot. Presumably not in reference to what I'm wearing. <laughs> or Alex would be cheating. 
terrible hiding spot, says Umatsu Obosa. Hmm. And there's a fossil up there. Is there an emote that ducks you down, says Mark Lopez. Nice idea. Maybe that I feel like maybe the sort of like cold chill one might kind of No, that's not doing it. The thing is this also makes like a subtle noise. Oh, okay, right. Well I've been I've been okay, right, I've been found by everyone except except Ellen. They were all move moving as a pack. Okay, so now we all have to hide from Ellen. Let me see if I can make any budge up any more space. Okay. <laughs> C plus. <laughs> Is that Ellen? Okay, there's Ellen. All right, I've been found. Okay, that was rubbish. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ellen's vision is based on movement. <laughs> One more round. Do we have time? We've got two minutes left. Okay, Ellen's going to hide. Alright, that means we go back to... Resident Services. Try and do a less terrible job this time. Come on. Okay. Daniel Wayne says, I just realised my son thinks this is the official Animal Crossing show and I'm not going to correct him. Uh, Moody Moogle says, Luke, I just want to say you guys really are the best and I love all the streams you do, even if I have to stay up to 1am sometimes to watch them. Uh, the cons of living in Perth. Well, thank you for staying up. Um, and hello in Perth. I would love to visit Perth. Um... Right. Okay. How long should we wait? Oh my gosh, I love um I love uh Andy Hoyle's incredible Zelda dress. What a great tunic. I think it's time for me to put on my um Oh, here's something to here's something to wear. Check this out. Oh, hang on. Transformed. Alright, let's untransform. I think by the time I've changed uh changed clothes, it'll be time to um it'll be time to go seeking. Check that out. Mimikyu dress. Amazing design I found online. Here we go. Mr. Lenny Shelby says, Luke has a bay over bay shirt. I made it. Oh, Jane's in the chat again. You're all so stylish. Okay. All right. Oh, no, look, they've all run off without me. I don't want to loot. I don't want to be last again. 
Well, I won't be last if I can only find Ellen, which I should be able to do because it's my island, right? Okay, eyes peeled, everyone. Ellen will certainly be dressed like a tree to blend in. Oh, okay. I see uh, lollies there. Oh! Okay, wow. Right, end of the pier. End of the pier it is. Cool. Brilliant. I only wish I could get more into the end of the pier. Alright, I've just got to be still. <gasps> okay, alright, well, that's everyone except Andy... Except Andy H. But will Andy H find us? <laughs> Oh, there comes Andy H. Hey! <laughs> oh, oh, look at Ellen's old grumpy face. <laughs> the important thing is, I wasn't last. And that is the important thing. <laughs> Ellen's an angry ghost. Um, the Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> oh, there, there you go. How's that for your puns? <laughs> Hashtag not last. Just waiting for the chat to catch up to my Phantom of the Opera uh, thing. Because um, I think it's going to go down a storm. So I'm just going to wait for the uh, um, messages of praise to pour in. Um, boo? Uh, surprising. Ah, Joseph Carew says, ha, 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 excellent. Yep, there we go. <laughs> John Sharplin says, oh, we're caught up, Luke. <laughs> Ellen says, I have a gift for that pun. Oh, good. All right, what did I earn, Ellen, with my with my um, punning? <gasps> what is it? <gasps> a soft serve hat. Got to see that. Oh, it's poop. Oh good, it's a poop hat. <laughs> I... <laughs> Even Ellen says boo. Well, that is quite something. That's another soft serve hat. Andy, I think you should put that one on. Don't resist, Andy. Ellen pooping out the hats. She says this one's more your colour. Andy is. Come on, Andy. That one's for you. Don't think that. Don't think that you get away with not wearing a poop hat. Oh well, that's gross. <laughs> let me take a, Let me take a good team photo of everybody. Look at that. I think that's. I think that's the appropriate filter for our times. There we go. Nice. Everyone's keeping up appearances. <laughs> that is it. That was the photo. We got it. We got it. It looked like Ellen. <laughs> it looked like Ellen was um. <laughs> Ellen was falling off. The <laughs> hang on. Hang on. I'm I'm jumping into the menu because I just got to look at that again. There we go. <laughs> Now that, now that, now that is what I call a precious memory. <laughs> Ellen stacking it into the ocean. <laughs> well, I think that's about going to do it for our live stream, folks. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um... Uh, Jane in the chat says new stream starting soon uh, stream starting soon screen yep I think it might have to be that is good everyone's enjoying it fresh memes the real phantom of the opera <laughs> um, outside Xbox has just published a video um, I suggest you go and watch it because outside Xbox are a good YouTube channel um, and they make cool videos let's see what today's video is um, there's a link in the chat um, but let's just check it out. It is called... Ah. 
I was looking forward to this one. Seven geniuses killed by their own stupidity. It's going to be a real fun one, folks. Um, so, uh, yeah, go check that out. And then tomorrow, uh, we our streaming show wait hang on what day is it tomorrow friday sorry uh, you lose track of the days we are streaming show of the almost weekend and that is going to be happening at what time is that going to be happening i want to say 4 p.m but i also want to check that that is right let me bring up my master schedule um Ah, no, uh, 3 p.m. 3 to 4 p.m. That's right, because we are going We are going to stream at 3 p.m., go to 4 p.m., because the, the, after that is when Eurogamer is doing their happy hour tavern time. So um, the perfect the perfect opportunity to jump across to that stream after we've finished uh, show of the Almost Weekend. We're going to be talking about some real fun stuff. Ellen's going to be giving me a quiz. Um, so, yeah, 3 p.m. UK time tomorrow. Um uh, see you see you back back here for that thanks so much everyone for tuning in thank you to um the andes alex and ellen uh for jumping in for some hide and seek there at the end uh enjoy uh nature day everyone who's playing the game uh thanks everyone for your wonderful uh comments and contributions in the chat uh victoria halberg thanks for chipping in saying you deserve this for the phantom fun and we will see you all next time <laughs>